As you can see, I am reviewing a new ColourPop collection today. I'm pretty picky about what ColourPop collections I choose to review. It has to be really interesting to me, and I am excited for this collection. Let me tell you, I don't know the official name. I have the Get In Fresh palette. I have the new matte bronzers. I'm so excited about those. And then the So Glassy Lip Gloss. I don't have much details on this collection. I know that it's launching May 26th at 10 p.m. Pacific time, which would be 1 p.m. Eastern time. So I will have a link for that when that becomes available. I did receive these in PR. So I don't have the pricing quite yet, but obviously when it launches, we will figure that out. But I'm excited. The catchphrase for this launch is So Bronze, So Glassy, and So Fresh. Let's get into it. We're gonna get started with the eyeshadow palette first. So it is the mega eyeshadow palette How much do these normally go for these mega palettes are normally $34, which is a really great deal But a lot of times you can get them on sale for like 20% off and this one I'm excited about I haven't been excited about a big mega palette in a while I feel like they've been getting a little repetitive. This one is fun fresh, but still wearable So this is the box that it's going to come in. It says get in fresh pressed powder palette and then here is the back it has all the shade names and everything here okay I have many of these mega palettes so I like the pattern on it I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to pick it up oh yeah you can kind of right here love the pattern on it as like per usual ignore my lovely nail situation we have going on <laughs> anyways so I like it I mean it's pretty typical color pop packaging it's not have a mirror on the inside and here are what the shades look like so I think we have a nice mix of mattes shimmers here and it is a lot of repetitive neutrals that ColourPop comes out with but I love the spring summer pops and I don't know I'm excited about this palette the layout is interesting I feel like they're all randomly placed we have some of the deeper tones here some of the lighter tones on top but it really is a mixed bag other than that light to dark gradient I have been loving green like these neon greens for the spring and summer so I'm really excited about this. I'm just gonna swatch a few of the shades and then I'm gonna go off camera, but we're gonna swatch the ones that look really nice. So I'm doing Wilden and No Doubt. So this is Wilden, this is No Doubt, and then we'll do the Point, which is a matte with like glitters. So here's how they look, let's see. Oh my God, this nail is terrible. <laughs> they look pretty good, right? I mean, ColourPop eyeshadows, they're just like solid, you know, maybe not the greatest formula, but always pretty nice. Let's get a couple mattes in. We'll do Gone Bad. Let's test out this shade and then this shade. So Goosebumps is pretty good. Nice. Okay, everything seems solid, though so this shade was a little sheer, but I'm going to swatch the rest of the palette. Give me a moment. So here's the first three rows of the palettes. As you can see, the shimmers in the front are a little bit on the sheer side, but honestly, this isn't out of the ordinary for ColourPop. I think everything is swatching like a pretty standard ColourPop palette. You know, it's not amazing luxury quality. However, I mean, it's great quality for the price thus far. Let me get to the darker shades now, but here are the first three three rows. And here are the last two rows. These two are definitely more punchy. You'll notice there's a couple really lovely, thick and shimmery shades. Bottom rows just really got it going on. So the lighter shades tend to have more fallout from ColourPop. I think that's where they could put some time and energy into improving. But dang, these last two rows swatched very high end. So far, pretty impressed with the palette. I think the quality is nice. Okay, let's get these on the eyes. So I have unfortunate news about this palette. I'm going to try and salvage my thoughts, but the shimmers here are not sticking to my eyelids. They are really, really flaky. This was a lot of building and layering. They were see-through. Just a really powdery formulation. It had no stick to my eyelid. The Mats are fine. I actually like the mats, but I use the greens today, which are the most exciting part of this palette. And I don't know, like you can literally see through. And this is not the case with all ColourPop palettes. And it's not every shade in this palette that's going to act like this. But considering that these greens are like the showstoppers of the palette, I don't know. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing. And I'm gonna try a little bit of different technique on this side to see if we can make it work. So I'm gonna start off with O. 
right here. I am going to put this right in the inner half of the crease. This is a very nice soft transition shade to have. I like it. It's not too powdery. It just blends great. Next, we're going to take Gone Bad right here. Now, Gone Bad is really powdery, so you're going to get a lot of kickback in the pan, so make sure you tap off your brush. I don't really mind it, though, because it sticks to the eyelid just fine. It's going to make you run through the shadow faster if you use it a lot. Lot, but other than that, it works out fine. So just be aware it can be messy. As you can see, we are blending out with ease. It's packing on the pigment. I'm very happy with this shade. Next up in the outer corner, we're going in with Funny Story. This is just a darker brown. This one also is a little bit on the powdery side, but again, works out beautifully. So at this point, we're looking good. I was excited about this palette, but it's when I went in with the shimmers that I was like, Ugh. I'm gonna start off with On the Outs. I'm mostly just using this shade. Let me show you a little closer. This shade right here, just to see how it would look because it did swatch a little faint and it does apply that way on the eyelid, a little bit softer, but I still liked it, but just thought I'd show you. And then I want this to kind of peek through the inner corner. So the next two shades that I used, I'm just gonna show you right now. Cereal right here, the neon yellow went in the inner half of my lid. And then Wildin went in the center of my lid. These are the ones that are completely see-through, really powdery, don't adhere to the lid that well, even with a finger. So I am going to wet my brush and see if that makes a difference. Normally, especially with the high-end and luxury shadows, if I need to wet a brush to get the impact that I want. I normally cross that off as not a great palette because you pay so much for it. With brands like ColourPop and the more affordable brands, I am more likely to mess around with it and be willing to try this because you are paying less. If you don't want to pay $50 for an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to show you how to make it work. Whereas I feel like, you know, $50 plus dollars for an eyeshadow palette, it should work. No issue. So I did wet my brush. We're going in with cereal first. Oh yeah, so much better with a wet brush. Wow major, major difference. So I did not wet my brush on this eye and you can see how just like flaky and dry it looks on the eyelid. Whereas with the wet brush, it's less messy and it has kind of a more smooth metallic finish. I'm actually gonna go in with my finger dry with some more just to kind of press it right on top. And that is the finish that I'm looking for. You do have to take that extra step to wet the brush with these shimmers, which I'm not a fan of. I don't normally like to do that. That's what we got to do for this palette. Next, I'm going into that wild in shade, which is slightly darker. Wetting my brush because this one also wasn't giving it to me. So much better. These two green shades, though, are a little closer than I would like them to be. You can't tell too much of a difference with these, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> very, very different outcome here. I'm just going to blend a little bit more of the mattes to create more of a seamless blend. So I'm using both the pink and the brown. And I'm not going to do anything crazy on my lower lash line. I'm just going to put the green in the inner corner and the pink in the outer corner. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'm also going to redo this because this just looks bad. <laughs> I'll be right back. Final look with lashes. So cute, kind of watermelony, really fun for the summer. Let's get into my favorite part of this collection, the one that I I was most excited for. ColourPop finally came out with powder bronzers. I have been waiting for this. They came out with some powder bronzers, you know, in some previous collections, but they've just been missing a solid powder bronzer for their collection. So these are the matte bronzers. This is what the box that they're gonna come in. It looks like there are six shades. I do have all six. I'm not gonna swatch the dark ones. That would never work for me in a million years. I'd rather just give that to somebody who has a deeper complexion than me, but I will swatch the ones on the lighter side for you. This is the packaging that they're gonna come in. It's the same as like, you know, the sole body highlight. Nice and big, you have a mirror, and then this is what the bronzer looks like. There is eight grams of product in here, that's very good. So the first shade that I have here, I think is the lightest. It's very interesting because they don't have a clear gradient of light to dark in the launch. It's like different tones. So this one is like probably the best for the most fair people because it has a little bit of a cooler tone to it. So this is a Villa Beach. They feel really smooth. Almost looks a little warm on my hand. 
and they are matte, okay? The next one that I have to swatch is Miramar Beach. So this one looks a little bit oranger, a little bit more orange, excuse my grammar. Oh yeah, see how orange that looks compared to the first one? Then we have Summerland Beach. These I feel like are pulling different than they look in the pan. Okay, that one has a little bit more neutralness, but it still is quite warm. And then the last one that I'm gonna swatch for you is Silver Strand Beach. This is definitely a color for like more medium, to medium deep skin tones. And then the other two that I have, Pacific Beach is this one. And then Moonlight Beach is this one. This one runs pretty deep, which I like to see. I'm gonna experiment with a few different shades of the bronzer. I'm gonna use my Refer Number no. 5 brush, which by the way, M Cosmetics just launched a new bronzer. If you order the new M Cosmetic bronzer, they're having a deal where you get a free Refer Number no. 5 brush with it. This is like $57 individually, and it's legitimately a great bronzer brush. So I will leave that linked down below if you wanna check that out. But let's get into a Villa Beach, the lightest one. Let's see, not too much kickback like the eyeshadows honestly on my skin tone this is very very natural that's really a nice color and it's a little bit cooler like i would use this on a really natural makeup day Ooh, i feel like that's pretty so this did work for my skin tone maybe it's not the ideal to bronze with but just to add a little bit of shape and depth to my face i like this shape let's go in with Summerland Beach. Just wanna see how this one is. Gonna try it on my forehead. For my skin tone, this is a little bit more of a suitable bronzer. You can see it has a little bit more depth and it hints more warmth. So like this looks really good on my forehead. I have a rather large forehead, but I do like the way that this looks and it's quite warm. Then we have Miramar Beach. This one looks like it'd be orange on me. Let's see. It does not look quite as warm on the face. Interesting, right? It actually looks a little lighter than the Summerland Beach. I actually prefer this one. It looks really orange in the pan. These are definitely bronzers and not contours. Other than a Villa Beach, these are gonna bronze you for the summer. And then I'm gonna try the darkest one, Silver Strand Beach. But all of these do look different on the face, which I like. It's worthwhile to do a little research on the color that you get. So this one is the deepest one for me, so I'm using a pretty light hand. But yeah, you probably won't catch me using this shade until the depths of the summer after a summer vacation. So medium skin tones, I think you will like this bronzer. It's a bit much for me. Okay, nice. I think for my preferences, if I want something really bronze, Miramar Beach. I think is nice, it's not too orange on me, but it does add warmth. And then kind of an everyday natural bronzer, which is a type of product that I reach for quite often, you know, skin tints kind of days like coverage. A Villa Beach, I think is a really nice undertone. I'm just gonna go all around now with Miramar Beach. Just kinda even everything out on the face. Well, I'm happy to report that I really like these bronzers. The shades I think are interesting and I think there's potential for it to be a little bit difficult to choose the correct shade depending on what you're looking for. But once you get the right shade, they blend out beautifully. They look very nice on the skin. I think that these will be a worthwhile purchase. And since I've been dying for a powder bronzer from ColourPop, I'm really not disappointed with these. Took them a while, but they came out with a very nice formula. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of blush and then we're gonna finish off with the lips in this collection. So the final item to try in this collection are the So Glassy Lip Glosses. There are six nude shades in this collection. So the box is nothing special. It's just like the bronzer, that kind of beachy theme it says So Glassy. So ColourPop does have the So Glassy formula on their website already, but they are like shimmer, glimmer, finishes, whereas the ones in this new launch, they are completely flat finishes. I've never tried the So Glassy formula before, so I'm excited about these because the range, there is a nude for every skin tone here. So the first one that I'm gonna try, I think these are named by places in California, right? This is La Jolla. <laughs> so this is the lightest shade. I want you to see it's kind of like a sheer peachy color. I'm just gonna do top bottom swatches of the lips so that you can see. 
So this one is pretty sheer, doesn't have too much color, just will give you a shine on the lips. There is a milkiness to it if you do have a color underneath, so it's gonna go best with like a nude lip color. The next shade up is Solana. So this one is more of like a nude for me. It's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna put this on the upper lip. This is the one that I think I'm gonna wear today. So you can see how this one is slightly darker. But they're not too different. Like you don't need every color in the range. So the feeling of these, they aren't sticky, but there is a thickness to it. Like if you apply too much product, there's gonna be strings and it's not gonna look cute, but they're pretty comfortable. I do like the feeling of them. Are they better than my Fenty or my Pat McGrath? No, but I think ColourPop has a good formula on their hands. So the next shade up, which is a little deeper, is Newport. So let's swatch it. I like the applicator on these. They're quite precise. So that's what that one looks like. All of them are going to be sheer. We do a lazy removal <laughs> of what is on my lips. We're getting a little deeper here. They all have kind of like this sheer milkiness to them in color. That's pretty too for like an everyday nude for me. This next one is Huntington. Huntington? Huntington? <laughs> this one's gonna be great for medium skin tones. So it takes a little bit of work to make sure the color is even on the lips. At least they're like all kind of different on the lips, you know? It's not like they're all clear lip glosses. They're gonna make a little bit of an impact. Love how deep these colors go. This is Dana Point. Look at that. All right, and then the final one this is San Clement. Okay, let's try that one. I really like the range of colors on these for nude lip glosses. So I'm actually gonna use some of Huda Beauty's Honey Beige all over my lips. I'm even gonna fill in. And then I'm gonna put some of Solana on top. So I'll be right back. All right, so final thoughts on the whole collection. For me, the eyeshadow palette honestly can be a pass. I feel like there are other mega palettes from ColourPop that I think you have a little bit more consistent quality with. However, if you are absolutely dying for this color story you can make it work ColourPop often has like 20% off sales so I would wait maybe if this works for this to go on 20% off I think it would make it even more worth it but if you are sold by the color story as long as you wet the shades I think you will be good some of the shimmers are going to be fine on their own they won't need any help but it's just a level of inconsistencies in the shimmer formula here that I'm not loving but you can certainly make it work if it's worth the effort to you. The bronzers are my favorite part of this collection. I am so happy that ColourPop has filled this void in their collection. If you ask me, I just feel like I've been waiting for these and I think they did a good job. The colors I'm not sold by. I'm not in love with how many different tones there are, but formulation is really beautiful, but I can easily see somebody ordering a bronzer and it just being off, you know, not quite the right tone, maybe too orange, maybe too red. Though I I did like the four shades that I tried on myself, but hopefully their website will describe the colors well. But in terms of the formula, really beautiful. I recommend that. And then I also did like the So Glassy lip glosses. I wasn't that excited about them, but I think they are an, a great everyday nude lip gloss. And since they have a thicker feel to them, I, they're lasting a pretty long time as I'm talking through this. It's been a little bit of time since I finished this look and tried this lip gloss on for the first time. So I actually am kind of in favor of these lip glosses. This might be my favorite formula from ColourPop in terms of the lip glosses and I love that there's a color for everybody to get that perfect nude gloss. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will have the links down below in the description box for you to shop once they are available and I will be updating you on my community tab and Instagram as well. Let me know your thoughts on these products. Are you planning on picking these up? With that being said, thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.